the God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Truly is a good God, you know, because he woke us up this morning. He, you know, just provides for us. Sometimes we can't see who is all behind everything that's being done. But even the people here that is working, it's truly because of God who is working through them that oh, they're able to do what they do. Um, so, um, Listen, be the name of the Lord who is worthy to be praised and adored. Oh, we lift up holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be the name, blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord, of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, who is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands in one accord, singing, Blessed be the name, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we just want to bless the Lord today. We just Amen. want to bless him for his goodness and for his mercy. And so as Brother Donald, um, before he shares the word, we're just going to pray and just um, dedicate everything. Dedicate ourselves and dedicate everything that's going to be done to the Lord. Amen. So Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for sparing our lives that we could be here another day. Amen. We thank you for every person that is here, that is present, Lord. We know that you love each and every individual. Every individual is known by you. Your word says that you know each and every name. You know each and every person um, and even the hairs on their head, Lord. You know them, Lord, because we were born. You, you knew us before we were born. And you look after us, even though at times we can't see it. But you're watching over us, Lord. We thank you for your word that says that you never sleep. Lord God, because you're watching over us, Lord, and your ears are open to all our prayers. And today as we come together, Lord, we just submit ourselves to you. We just, you know, just give ourselves to you that you can work in us, Lord. You can do things in us. You can do things in our lives, Lord. Yes, and I pray for Dan, uh, Brother Daniel as he uh, speaks to us today, that you'll just speak through him, Lord, so that it will just enlighten us and refresh us and Give us some new thing, some new thing to go away with, some new word to inspire us today. So, Lord, we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Again, as I said before, it's a wonderful day. And as I often times say, it's an exciting moment to be alive. Especially if you don't know him as a personal Lord and Savior, it's an opportune moment again. Amen. Amen. While I was at my house this morning, it's around about seven. I heard the spirit of the Lord saying, the reason why we celebrate. The reason why we celebrate. So that is the title of my message today. That's the topic of the sermon today. The reason why we celebrate. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason why we celebrate. You see, many people might be asking the question in their heart and in their mind why we celebrate. Why we are so excited. Why we are so exuberant. Why we are so joyous to communicate what we are communicating to you day in and day out. What is the source 
of our rejoicing, of our celebrating. Amen? Amen. The Lord said to me the reason why we celebrate. And then I will use myself, hallelujah, as an example. Many people know, it is evidently clear that Brother Daniel is going through stuff. And sometimes serious stuff. But you know, when you see Brother Daniel, Brother Daniel still have a smile on his face. Brother Daniel is still joyful. Brother Daniel is still rejoicing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason why we celebrate. We, speaking about the believers, speaking about Christians, those that have taken a refuge in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The reason why we celebrate. To put it in its rightful context. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the reason why we celebrate. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the reason why we celebrate hallelujah Amen. the bible said if any man be in christ jesus hallelujah Amen. he is not that he will become but that he is a new creation and all things have passed away and be all all things have become new Amen? Amen. So there's a difference between those who know him as their personal Lord and Savior and those who don't know him as their personal Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Amen. And then we're going to use scriptures to back up what we are trying to communicate to you today. And the first scripture we will look at is taken from the book of Philippians 4, reading from verse 4 to 7. Hallelujah. And it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known, known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep our heart, your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So here in the scripture, it's saying to you and me who have taken refuge in the name of Jesus Christ, that we should rejoice and rejoice always. Amen. Hallelujah. Rejoice and rejoice always. Glory to God. You see, we the believer, we have a hope. We have a lively hope. Yeah. We have a living hope that in whom we have believed, we are persuaded that God who is not man, God who can lie, who have promised us eternal life. And that eternal life, he has placed in his son Jesus Christ. So the Bible says, he that have the Son of God have life. Amen. But he that have not the Son of God have not life. So I'm still speaking on the topic, the reason why we rejoice. Jesus led us to believe through the Holy Scripture that he will never leave nor forsake us that we may boldly say that the Lord is our helper. Yes. It doesn't matter the situation that we may be confronted with. It doesn't matter the